Well, all right, we've had such a great morning already worshiping through music, and a little bit later on, we're going to continue to worship through the Word. But another way that you can worship is through your tithes and your offerings. You'll see the brown wooden boxes throughout the sanctuary and around the campus, and those are there for you to give to the ministry as well as to just to give back to what God is doing in your life. Another thing those boxes are there for is for your prayer requests and your praise reports. We often say we want to go through life with you, and this is a great way for us to do that, to be praying for you and also rejoicing in the things that you're rejoicing about what God has done in your life. Now, we are back in the hashtag series today. It's pretty exciting. Today is relationship goals. And, you know, you know, our society has some pretty unrealistic expectations for relationship goals. You know, it's one thing to go out on social media and to say a lot of nice things and set up these huge goals, but some people have these relationship goals, but their actual relationships are falling apart. And they share these powerful wedding vows, but the actions, well, they, they speak louder than the words. And so I wonder what it would look like, and if you could imagine with me, if some of those values that the world communicates in wedding vows reflected the actions of the actual culture. I wonder what that would look like. you would all please stand for the bride. Who gives this woman in marriage today? We are gathered here today to join together in marriage, Daniel and Julie. Thank you for joining us. Please have a seat. Daniel, Julie, today, an expression of your love, it's a beautiful bond. It's an outward sign of two people who were filing their taxes separately can now file them together. (laughs) To express this bond today, you'll be giving each other rings, an infinite circle, a symbol of a never-ending cycle of debt, and despair that now lie ahead of you. (laughs) The vows which you're about to take must be taken with much uh, consideration and emphasis, understanding the meaning and significance of each word. Daniel, do you have a ring? Yes. Daniel, repeat after me. I, Daniel, take you, Julie. I, Daniel, take you, Julie. To be my lawfully wedded starter wife. To be my lawfully wedded starter wife. For better and better. For better and better. Rich or the appearance of richer. Rich or the appearance of richer. As long as you stay as skinny as you are right now. As long as you stay as skinny as you are right now. Even after children. Even after children. I promise to compare you to other women. I promise to compare you to other women. To constantly take you for granted and to constantly take you for granted. And wonder what life would have been like with my ex-girlfriend. And to wonder what life would have been like with my ex-girlfriend. I am 100% yours. I am 100% yours. 30% of the time. 30% of the time. I promise to be faithful. I promise to be faithful. Until you catch me. Until you catch me. Till divorce do us part. Until divorce do us part. Now, Julie, do you have a ring? Yes. 
Julie, repeat after me. I, Julie, take you, Daniel. I, Julie, take you, Daniel. To be my first ex-husband. To be my first ex-husband. From this day forward. From this day forward. As we try this out for a while. As we try this out for a while. To come alongside you. To come alongside you. As long as I can manipulate you. As long as I can manipulate you. To disrespect you. To disrespect you. To tear you down in front of my family and friends. And to tear you down in front of our family and friends. And to spend twice as much time on social media as I do with you. And to spend twice as much time on social media as I do with you. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. As long as you make a ton of money. As long as you make a ton of money. I am completely yours 24-7. I am completely yours 24-7. 24 hours a week. 24 hours a week. Seven months a year. Seven months a year. Until divorce do us part. Until divorce do us part. Daniel, Julie, today you came here in hopes that you would be one of the lucky ones who think that their marriage might actually work, that you might actually be able to tolerate each other for a whole lifetime. And honestly, I admire that. As a witnesses here, we're honored to be invited into this special moment in your lives and this extravagant celebration that cost your parents on average $26,000, money that they will never, ever see again. We sincerely wish you the best of luck, even though your chances sit right about 50-50. Daniel, Julie, you came to make promises today, and I'm proud to now announce you as husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.